Hello and welcome. You are looking at BitPay.com and you are here because this is going to be one of the sites that we will be exploring in this course. In fact, we will be looking at BitPay as our merchant in order to take Bitcoin. We'll also look briefly at marketplaces where you can sell items and take Bitcoin in exchange. But we'll spend most of our time on the Sin Owl network where you can sell your digital products on this network. You can recruit affiliates as well as build your list. And most importantly, you can take Bitcoin. We'll also be showing you an alternative network called the Rocketer network which again allows you to take payment for your digital products as well as to take Bitcoin. And we will finish the course by looking at some of the implications that Bitcoin has on being able to take it as payment on your WordPress website. So if you already have a BitPay account, you can skip ahead past the first video. But otherwise, what you'll want to do is you'll want to start with the first few videos, you'll want to get started with BitPay, and then you will then be ready to start using it on your site. And then we'll start taking payments on the Sendow network. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the first video. Hello and welcome. Now, depending on when you are watching this video, you'll notice that on January 23rd, 2018, Stripe, the payment processor, ended Bitcoin support. So that means that you will no longer be able to use Bitcoin as a means of payment through Stripe. Now they've discussed the reason that they have decided not to do this. They've discussed possibly using other cryptocurrencies, but currently they're not going to consider cryptocurrencies at this time. Now there are other payment processors that do similar things to Stripe. However, in terms of working into your regular online business processing, we'll need to explore that in this course. So in some cases, you may run into a plugin or a gateway that still says that it uses Bitcoin and Stripe together. However, these are cases where these things have just not been updated. We will be working with Bitcoin and other processing in this course. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. Now, this video, we are going to start the process by setting up our BitPay account. And to do that, we're going to go to the website called BitPay.com. And when you get there, you're going to want to click the blue sign up button. Now, when you get to this page, you're going to be given two options. You can either get a BitPay card account or a business account. And to do that, you are going to need to set up your BitPay account to get bank deposits in your local currency in order to connect with your site. So to do that, we're going to click sign up. You are going to create a name, organization, first name, last name, email address, and then you are going to click the agreement and then click create account. And once you do that, you are going to need to confirm with your email address. You are then going to be asked to confirm your email. You're going to click confirm your email and then click this confirm email. You will then need to get verified for basic payment processing. And so you'll click get verified. You'll then come to the screen for basic verification. And to do that, you'll need your legal name of your business, your address, your country, your website, and then the owner. And then you're going to verify this. You're going to get an email that BitPay will use in order to verify the process. Now, once BitPay goes through the verification process, you'll get an email that says that you are approved for tier zero. That means that you can process payments up to $100 per day and $500 annually. And once you do that, you then will be ready to take payments using BitPay. Now you can raise the limit of the amount that you're going to want to take. So for example, if we click this link that says raise your limit, you'll note that you can move up to $1,000 daily and then $10,000 annually. You can then click apply. And this is what BitPay will need in order to approve you for this level. And then if you have these documents, you'll then need to click apply. And then you'll be asked to upload these documents direct to BitPay. You can also make application to apply. 
that would allow you to generate up to $10,000 daily and $500,000 annually. And to do that, you will need to have the business plan. So first, let's take a look at the documents. You need to have everything that you did for the first level in addition to photo identification and then proof of your current physical business address. Once you have those documents, you can then click Apply. Now what we'll need to do is we'll need to take a look at the business plan for BitPay because that is necessary to be on second tier. Now this plan means that you'll have a 1% service fee on all of your transactions and then you'll also have some additional features that you do not have with the free plan. To accept this plan, you'll click Select. You'll then be brought to the Confirm plan and then you'll need to click Upgrade. You'll then be on the business plan and then you can continue to apply for Tier 2. So once you decide on whether or not you're going to apply for Tier 2 or Tier 3, you can do that, but you are now ready to go through the process. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at Open Bazaar. And Open Bazaar is a marketplace where you can sell digital goods and that you can earn cryptocurrency. Now there are no fees or restrictions in Open Bazaar. However, this is not going to be a policed and regulated marketplace. This is open source software that you are participating in with the interface. This may be a case where you want to keep up with any updates. And so if that's the case, you'll want to subscribe to their newsletter. Then you'll need to scroll up and then download the software. You will then download the software that's appropriate for your system. You'll then need to install the software. Now the first thing you'll do when you are starting Open Bazaar is you'll need to set up a wallet. You'll need to determine which currency you're going to be using, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, or something called Zcash. In most cases, you will start the process with Bitcoin and then click Next. Once you do that, you will be able to then click here to get started. You'll then create your profile. Open Bazaar will then give you a disclaimer. You'll want to read through it carefully. And if you can agree with it, you'll then want to click agree. Your store will then be live. You can then close this message and you can click here to start creating a listing. Now, one of the things you're going to want to note when you're creating your listing is that Open Bazaar will ask you if your listing has mature content. And of course, that means then that there is some mature content on the site. And you'll want to be aware of that as you list on Open Bazaar. In addition to your subscription, you'll be able to upload your photo. You'll be able to create tags, categories, variants, and then a sales policy as well as terms and conditions. If you want to add a coupon, you can do that, but you'll then click save. Once you do that, you'll then be able to view your listing and you'll see how it's going to appear on Open Bazaar. The one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click a search provider inside of Open Bazaar and then you want to look at some of the other products in your niche so you'll know what your listing should look like as well as what you should be charging. Once the program is open, what you can do is you can select by the left hand menu. You can narrow down your choices. But basically, you'll be able to look through the entire bazaar so that you'll know exactly what you should be doing in terms of your own listing. Now, when someone gets ready to buy your listing, they'll see the listing on Open Bazaar. And what they'll be able to do is they'll be able to click the Buy Now button. Now, the individual will be able to pay the amount you're asking for. However, this will come in the currency that you have chosen, which is Bitcoin, at the current exchange rate. Now, as is the case with any software running on your PC, you will want to be careful with anything that you're doing on Open Bazaar. You want to be careful about what accounts that you're going to have connected. And you want to verify that this really works for you if you want to use this in order to sell your digital products. 
and as is the case with everything, it will depend on who your customer is. There are other marketplaces where you can sell your items and receive Bitcoin. For example, there is Bitify, there is Purse.io, and then if you are selling services, you can sell them on XBTFreelancer.com or CryptoGrind.com. So what you'll want to do is to choose the marketplace that you feel most comfortable with and where you feel as if your customers are going to be there and look for your items. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. We are going to be working to sell your digital products with Bitcoin. And to do that, we're going to work with the SendOwl network. And you can go to SendOwl.com, and you'll come to this site, and you'll notice that there is a sign up and pricing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and check the pricing. Now in each situation, you are going to have a free trial. And you'll notice that there's a standard premium business and then a basic account. Now the major differences between the standard and premium and business will be the fact that you can have streaming video from the SendOwl platform. Of course, if you're not gonna stream video from inside the SendOwl platform, you can start with a free trial and then upgrade to premium if you need it. Now, the other thing is going to be storage. And once again, if you're going to be storing content off-site, you can start with the standard version. And then after the trial, you can then go to the $15 a month plan. Now, the trial is actually going to last for 30 days. So that's how long you'll have to be able to get a product up and running and then to cover your actual platform fees. And when you first take note of the pricing, you're going to notice three different kinds of plans. Standard, self-hosting, and subscription. Now, the standard plan assumes that you are going to be hosting your products on SendOwl. So that means that SendOwl will both secure and to deliver your product once your customer pays. Self-hosting assumes that you are going to deliver a URL for your customer once they've actually paid. Subscriptions assume that you're going to have recurring payments from your customers. So the lowest level at which you can do subscriptions, products, and then an upsell is going to be the premium level where you can start your free trial. And of course, at the end of 30 days, if you decide that you need to use one of the other plans, you can certainly upgrade to that plan. So to get started, Let's go to start our free trial from the premium area. Okay, so once you have that information inside of SendOwl, you're then going to click sign up. You should then have an email from SendOwl. However, that email will not require you to verify your account. So once you have this email and you are inside of your account, your account is then ready to be used. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, the first thing you're going to want to note is that SendOwl will assume that your PayPal address will be the one that you signed up with. So if it isn't, you are going to want to reconnect your PayPal account with the one that you want to receive your payments on. And you can actually change that by clicking this change link and then updating your PayPal email address. Now this course, we are primarily going to be working with Bitcoin. And so we want to be able to connect with a different payment gateway. And we're going to click connect to a different payment gateway. Now, one of the gateways that we're going to be using is going to be BitPay. So if you're outside the US, you can still use Bitcoin, but you'll need to use the BitPay gateway. And so what SendOwl will be looking for will be your pairing key from BitPay. So in the next video, we will start by going inside of BitPay to get the details to place into this account. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. We are logged into our BitPay account, and whenever we enter the BitPay account, it will request that we go through a two-step verification. Now, when you sign up for BitPay, you will be signing up with a mobile device and BitPay will send that verification note to your mobile device 
so that you can get the verification code and then place it inside of this dialog box. That means then that you will need to open up the Google Authenticator on your mobile device. You will get a code and then you will need to place that code inside of your BitPay account. You will then have access to your BitPay account. Now what we need to do is we need to get the pairing code so that we can take that pairing code back and place it inside of our SendOwl account. You will then click the Payment Tools link. It will bring you to this page. You will then click Manage API Tokens. Once you get to this page, you are then going to click Add New Token. You'll then come to this screen that says Add New Token. You'll click Add Token. Now, obviously, our pairing code is blurred out, but you will then copy that pairing code. It'll take that back to your SendOwl account. Once we've added the pairing code, BitPay will then be connected to our SendOwl account. And we can then start collecting Bitcoin for our product sales. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to start by creating a product inside of Sendow. And we are actually in the dashboard, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the products link, and then we're going to click add a product. Now you'll notice that there are a couple of ways to add products that you can actually sell. You can add a product, you can add a service, you can add a subscription, but remember, you're not going to be able to do that with Stripe and Bitcoin, and you can actually add in a bundle offer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a product. Now when you do that, there are a couple of ways for you to be able to deliver the content. You can deliver a digital file, you can deliver software, you can deliver a physical product, or you can redirect people to a URL. And in most cases, you're probably going to redirect people to a URL where they can download the rest of your content. So you want to give your product a name, and then you're going to put in the download URL. Once you do that, you're going to give your content a price, and this price is going to be in US dollars. So once you've done that, you're going to click Create Product. Now, Send Owl will allow you to send people direct to the checkout page. You can do that by giving them this quick sell link. It'll also give you a pay button to put on your website. If that's the case, you're going to take all of this copy, you're going to copy it, and then you're going to head over to your website. Now, in order to post, you are going to use the text side if you're using a WordPress website. What you're going to do is you're going to put a center code in and then you'll put your HTML code. Here's your center code. We'll cut and paste the HTML code. We'll put the back center code. And then we're ready to hit the publish button. Now, once we have it, then you'll notice that we can click the view post. So let's take a look at our post. You'll see there is our buy now button. So we'll click that button. And there you see our Bitcoin option to buy. So your customer would actually click this button. They then put in their email address and then they'd be given an option to pay for your product with Bitcoin. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. You can add in an autoresponder so that when you actually make a sale, the buyer is placed on your email marketing list. In order to do that, you're going to go to the Marketing tab. And then you'll see at the top that there is a tab that says Mailing List. And then you're going to see a number of mailing list providers. So if your mailing list provider is one of these that is listed, you will then be able to click that link and then enable your autoresponder. So for example, let's enable Get Response. Now what get response will require is that you have an API key and then once you do that you'll be able to see some of the campaigns. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead we're going to add in the API key from get response. And to do that we're going to access our account and we're going to go to the integrations tab when we get there. When we get inside of get response we're going to go to the my account tab on the right hand side the upper level. 
And then once we get there, we're going to go to this link that says API and OAuth. Once we do that, you'll notice that this API key is grayed out, but yours will be visible. You're going to click the copy link, and then that will put the key into your clipboard. Once you get the key, you're going to place that key inside of this settings dialog box. And once you click update, then you'll actually see that your campaigns are listed. And so you will then go to this drop down arrow and you'll choose one of the campaigns to actually match with your product sales. Once you have a campaign listed, you're then going to click update. Once you do that, your autoresponder will then be connected to every sale that you make inside of Sendow. Now you will not be able to line up different campaigns with different products. You will be able to line up one campaign with everything that you do on Sendow. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to add a coupon to one of our products and you are going to come inside of your dashboard come to the left side menu and click marketing you're going to come to this screen and you're going to go to the discounts tab now all you're going to need to do is click the add a discount button then you're going to create the discount you'll decide on a percentage or a fixed amount if you want a percentage you'll put that in if you want to determine that the person has to spend a minimum in order to get it. You can do that. You can limit the number of times that the discount is going to be available. And you can also discount the time that the discount is going to be available. You can actually limit the use of this discount. And then you can either auto generate the code or you can name it yourself. Once you have all the information in, you can then click create. Then all you'll need to do is you'll need to give your client or your customer the code in order for them to use it on your sales page. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to work through the upsell process. And in order to get started, we're going to go to our marketing tab on the left side menu. Then we're going to go to the upsell tab. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to click add an upsell. And then we'll need to give that upsell a name. Now what we're naming is the actual process. Okay, we can decide whether or not to enable or disable the upsell. And then we can decide whether or not this upsell is going to happen before the client actually makes their payment or afterward. Now, if you're using Skype and Bitcoin, we will not be able to use the after sale upsell feature. So we're going to leave this at before payment. Now, we can do this in a way so that the client gets an additional product or they can have a replacement product. So in other words, when they upgrade, we can make it so that they get a larger product and a larger member area, or we can give them two different member areas. It gives you an alternative. In this particular case, we're going to add in another product. Now, what we can do is we can add in this upsell for any product or one specific product. So for example, we can add in this particular upsell now the product required is the product we are offering the upsell to. So in this particular case, we can offer an upsell to Bitcoin videos. And then the product offered is the upsell. So in this particular case, we can say that our product upsell is going to be Bitcoin training. Now we can offer some offer text so that when the person sees the upsell, they will see a certain string of words into a phrase and we can use what's there or we can write something in. What we can do here is we can upload an image to go along with the video. So we can click upload image and then we can choose a file that we can place with our upsell. And then we can determine what the upsell price is going to be. We can either override the pricing and place something different or we can leave it at the product price, which case you cannot change the pricing. 
Once you've completed everything in your upsell, you're then going to click create. And once you've done that and you see your upsell in place, you will have the person buy your product but then be shown another offer. And you'll see this when the client goes to check out. They'll be shown this other offer where they can get access to additional training. They can either say yes or no and then be taken to their offer. So for example, if they say no, they'll then be taken to the regular offer where they can pay in Bitcoin. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to set up your affiliate program for your products. And in order to do that, you're going to come to the marketing tab and you're going to go to the affiliates link. You'll first be told that you don't have any affiliates yet, so you'll then need to go to the affiliate configuration page. You'll then give your affiliate program a name. Okay, you'll determine how long it takes before an affiliate will be paid from the time they earn the commission. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to set the options. You can have all of your affiliates sent to a particular list inside your autoresponder. And then you can determine how you want the affiliate program run in terms of cookies. You can determine that you want to reward the person who sent the last cookie. You can give your cookies limitations three months or one week. You can determine when the cookie is actually going to expire. You can determine that that cookie will expire after the first sale. The one thing that you can do is you can allow direct selling of your offers. This means that an individual who is your affiliate will be able to market specific products with links or they can send that person to your site and will place a site name in there right now. You'll write in your terms and conditions and then you'll click update. Send now will ask you what your default commission rate is. Of course, you'll be able to override certain products. We're going to go ahead and place in here 50%, and then we're going to click set commission rate. Now, in order to invite affiliates, you'll need to give them this link where it says invite affiliates. You'll copy that, and then you'll send that or place that on the page for your potential affiliates. When your affiliates get this link, they'll be sent to a page that looks like this one. They'll put their name, email address, and password, and then sign up. They'll then need to agree with your terms and conditions and click join. They'll then be able to click a link to see the other products they can promote. And you'll notice they can send the person to a particular page, or they can send them to the individual products according to their own link. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to start the process of selling your digital product and taking Bitcoin as payment. And to do that, we're going to start at the website called Rocketer. And once you get to Rocketer, we're going to go to the right-hand corner and you're going to click sign up. You are going to then create a username along with your email address and a password. You're going to click the CAPTCHA and then you're going to accept the terms and conditions. Of course, make sure you read thoroughly the terms and conditions to make sure that they are what you would want them to be if you're going to be doing business on this platform. Once you've read the terms and conditions, you're going to click I am not a robot and then you're going to click register. Once you've done that, you are going to start the process by typing in your username and password and logging in. Once you've done that, you should get an email in your box if you have set up your email correctly. Now, this is not going to be a confirmation email, so you won't have to worry about that. But you will want to place this email someplace safe where you can remember it. In terms of navigation, you can access your settings by clicking this gear or clicking the settings button. All the other things are self-explanatory. You can use the analytics. You can set up your products, which we will be doing. You can access the orders that you have generated. You can set up coupons. You can also do marketing with this link as well as allow your affiliates to promote your product. So in the first video, we are going to start with the settings button. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. What we're going to do now is we're going to set up our payment methods. 
And to do that, we're going to go to this settings gear. And then that's going to give us a link. We do that, we're going to go to this left side menu and we're going to click payment settings. Now, assuming that you already have a Bitcoin address, you're going to want to take that Bitcoin address and place it inside of this area that says Bitcoin address. Now, Rocketeer has what it calls a Bitcoin partial payment leniency percent. And this means that when the payment that you get lands within a certain percentage, you will opt to go ahead and take that payment. The reason this is necessary is because the price fluctuates often during the course of a day. It could be that the buyer may not have processed enough Bitcoin to meet your price. And what you can do is you can set this number. If the buyer meets within 5% or 10% or 15% of the actual price, you can determine that you will accept that payment and you will actually deliver your product. And of course, there are other payment methods. Rocketeer will also take PayPal. It will also take Stripe if you wanted to offer those options at the same time. But once you've added in and you've saved your address, Rocketeer will tell you that you have successfully updated your payment settings and you are then ready to start taking Bitcoin into your Rocketeer account. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to start by creating a product inside of Rocketer. So to do that, we're going to go to the products link. And then we're going to click add a product. Now once we come to the add a product screen, we can add a product in several different ways. We can do a file download. We can add a serial or a code, or we can add in a service where we will have to deliver an email for the customer to get what it is that we have. Now, if you want to deliver people to a page where they're going to get everything that you have to offer them, you're going to deliver them using the email. You can actually do that easily through the service button. But if you want to give them a download also, as well as a URL, you are going to be able to give them the download in the purchase process and then send them an email subsequently with their download link. So let's start by clicking the file download button. And what we're going to do now is we're going to give our product a title and we're going to give it a description and then we're going to give our product an image by uploading it using the choose file button. But once you have your product image in place, you can then click next. Now the next tab that Rocketer is going to bring you to is going to be the settings tab. And we are delivering a file. So what we're going to do is we're going to click choose file and we can upload any kind of document type. Typically we're talking about a PDF or a zip file. So let's go ahead and upload a PDF. We can limit the number of times that this product can be purchased or we can let it be sold an unlimited number of times. We can limit downloads to a particular purchaser's IP. We can also watermark the PDF with the purchaser's IP and email address. That is one of the advantages of using the PDF with the system. Now, once again, if you have to use and deliver a URL, we're going to be able to do that in section four. What we're going to do now is we're then going to click next. We are now going to set our price. We can use a fixed price or we can decide to allow our buyers to pay what they want to pay. But if we want to be more traditional, we can use the pricing alternative. And so what we're going to do is we're going to write in our price. We're going to accept Bitcoin. And then we can use a couple of features here and Rocketer will allow us to have everyone to be able to purchase with the exception of certain limitations. So we can limit people by our global blacklist and anyone buying from a proxy, which typically indicates some kind of lack of trust, or we can allow all buyers to purchase. The most conservative way to allow people to purchase would be to not accept purchases from people on a global blacklist and proxies. So in this particular case, we're going to use the most conservative method, and then we're going to click next. 
Now you're going to notice that your buyer is going to have an email sent to them by Rocketer. So if you want to have your buyer sent to a certain URL, you are going to write that URL inside of this email. So for example, you'll notice that they're going to get a link to their file URL. They're going to get a link to the product title. We can actually put in a URL to this email. Now, one thing that we can determine at this point is whether or not we're going to have affiliates to be allowed to promote our product. And what we're going to do is we're going to click this box to say yes. We're going to give our affiliates a percentage. And once we've done that, we can then click add product. And once we've done that, our product is ready to go to the next step for placing onto our website. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome. What we are now going to do is we are now going to generate a button for the product that we just created in Rocketer. So to do that, we're going to go to the product embed generator, and then we're going to choose our product from the download menu. We're going to choose what that button text is going to say. So for example, if we want to say download now, we can do that. If we want to change the color, we can do that and we can use the color picker here. And then when the code generator saves, we'll have our new code there. And then the actual embed code will be here. So for example, if we actually want to widen this button, we can actually do that. You'll see now that the button widens, we can widen it some more. And so now our button is now ready for us to place on our website. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now that we have our embed code, all we need to do is to grab this embed code and place it any place where we need to put HTML code for the button to show. So, for example, what we'll do is we will take this entire piece of code, we will copy it, and then we'll go to a site where we need HTML code. For example, we can go to our WordPress site. And when we get to that site, we can choose to add a new post. We will not use the visual editor, we'll use the text editor. We can then center the code. When we do that, we can then place our code we can then put a back code in here. Once that code has been added, we can then click the publish button. Once we can verify that our post has been published, we can then click the view post button. And you will see now that our button is now inside of our post. And that means that someone can click this button. And when they do that, they'll have the opportunity to pay in Bitcoin. We can also place that button on any HTML sales page. All we need to do is to figure out where our button actually goes. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to make sure that we add it where the code goes. So we will replace this code by cutting and pasting it, allowing it to be inside of the area. We will then click inside of our Dreamweaver and then we'll see the buy now link. When we upload this document to our server, we're actually going to see the button and not the text link. And you'll see our button code there when it is clicked, we'll actually give our buyer the opportunity to purchase from us in Bitcoin. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, it's quite possible that you will want affiliates to actually market your product on their behalf. So in order to do that, you'll need to have those individuals have their own Rocketer account, and then you're going to give them a specific link. And to find that link, you're going to go inside all products. This is where you'll see all of your products. You are going to take this link, right click it, click the copy list address, and that is the link that you will be giving to your affiliates. But once that affiliate is inside of their account, they will go to the products area. 
you'll want to give them the product ID. Then they will click register to be an affiliate. Rocketer will tell them that they have successfully registered to be an affiliate. It will give them the product price, their affiliate percentage, and then they will have a page that will keep track of their sales as they generate them. Now, one thing that you will want to do is you will want to give them a video with the process of opening up an account and finding this link. You want to provide that link to them so that it would be easy for them to apply and then to begin to make sales. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, in this video, we are going to give our client a coupon for the product that we have created where they're going to be paying with Bitcoin. And so in order to do that, you are going to go to this section of the site on the left side of the menu and click the link that says coupons. You're then going to click add a coupon. Once you click add a coupon, you're going to see that you have a menu and you can choose to do this with all products or you can choose to do it with just one. And so to find yours, what you can do is you can just start by typing in and you'll see there that when we type in BI, we have our product name. We can decide that we can only do coupons with one payment method. So for example, in this particular case, we're only taking Bitcoin. So we're going to click Bitcoin there. We're going to then write in a coupon code. So we're going to write that in right now. And then we can decide what kind of coupon we want. We can do a percentage off or an amount off. But we're going to go ahead and do a percentage off here. And then we're going to set the expiration date. Now we can set a specific number of uses. If we want it to be unlimited, we're going to leave this as negative one, which is a little counterintuitive, but that is what we would do for unlimited coupons. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click add coupon. So the coupon that we want to give our client is going to be the name sell digital, just as we see it there. So when our customer actually goes to hit our pay button, they're going to click it. They're going to then click buy now. And then they're going to be shown a place where they can put their coupon code. We're going to go ahead and place our coupon code in there. Actually, they're going to click validate. They're going to get 50% off. And then they're going to be able to click the buy now button and buy with Bitcoin. Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to be able to start doing email marketing with our client base and all of the customers that purchase through our Rocketer link. So in order to do that, we are going to go to this marketing link. And then we're going to click this link that says new marketing email. When we do that, we're going to come to a specific page and we can select the buyers that we like to email. So for example, we can determine that we want to email all buyers or all buyers that did not go through with the purchase. We can write in a subject for our email, and then we can add in additional content for our message. We can add in our text. We can edit using any of the menu items that we have here, and then we can then hit send. Now, one thing that you'll want to be aware of is that Rocketer will allow you to email these contacts every 72 hours. As long as you keep that in mind, you'll be able to keep track of what's happening with those who have purchased your product and then be able to offer them even more value. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, it's quite possible that you could have someone that you do not want to purchase your product. If that's the case, you can create your own blacklist. And to do that, you're just going to go to this left side menu. And there are three ways for you to add someone to the blacklist. You can add them by email, by IP, or you can blacklist an entire country. And the other thing about that is that 
anytime you have a chargeback, someone purchases your product, you can have that person add it to your blacklist automatically and Rocketer will do that for you. Whenever you add someone, you can put a reason as to why you want them blacklisted. So in this particular case, if you want to put the IP address, you'll place that in this area, email address, or even the two letter country code, which Rocketer will give you a hint for. You want to write in the reason and then click add. Now there could be a case where you discover that this person does not belong on the blacklist. If that is the case, you're just going to go to view your blacklist and then you're going to click delete. We'll take that person off of your blacklist. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. You were looking at the inside of a WordPress installation, and WordPress is the choice of many online marketers as well as entrepreneurs looking to create a website that's easy to operate. WordPress allows for posting to keep current on content, media to display audio and visual content, and pages to display more permanent content. The appearance of the site is typically controlled by the theme system. So you can purchase a theme or you can have a theme added to your WordPress website and it will change the look of what you are trying to communicate. To change how the site functions, you can use its plugin system. And the plugin system allows you to add different pieces of software that will give you options in the way that your user will interact with you on the site. If you were to go into the add new plugins and you were to go and look for plugins by typing in the word Bitcoin, you'd notice that the free plugins alone total 225 which is really only a fraction of the functionality available to people who want to have Bitcoin on their site. Now, while a number of these applications take and use the account Stripe, others rely on the system we have been talking about in this course, which is BitPay. Now to determine best practices for using WordPress along with cryptocurrency is beyond the scope of this course. However, you can start the process of determining what's right for your WordPress website by using three searches. You can start with crypto. You can also search plugins for Bitcoin. You can use BitPay. And you can add a fourth search for Coinbase. Now in the end, everything will be determined by the function of your site and how you are interacting with customers. You'll also want to keep your interaction simple since you're using the site for e-commerce and taking payments. And lastly, although WordPress will allow you to add new users, whether it's through a particular interface or manually, you will be holding this customer's data on your site. And so you want to make sure that you have secured it properly before you start taking Bitcoin for your payments. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.